are an easy way to make a big change without doing a permanent installation. Today I'm going to show you how to make a clip set from pre-made wefted hair. Now you, if you followed our video series, you can also make your own wefts. If you do, it's a good idea to make them in the following ways. This is a pattern for a standard 20 clip clip set. The black lines indicate the weft length and these things are supposed to be clips, so follow along. The top one is 10 inches, the next one is 7 inches, the next one below that is 5 inches, and then on the bottom we have strips that are 3 inches wide and there should be 4 pieces of those. So today we're going to be following this pattern using pre-made wefted hair and then just attaching the clips. So the first piece I'm going to do is going to be 10 inches, so I'm going to take that and cut my strip at 10 inches, I'm going to set it to the side, and I'm going to put 5 clips with it. Now the weaving clips are a snap clip, they have combs on one side, and they have rubberized backing. The ones that have the rubberized backing are going to hold the best because they give it a little bit of extra grip. A lot of clips on the market, if they're the smaller kind, aren't going to have this rubberized backing, which I think is really important. So I'm going to set these pieces off to the side and measure out the rest of my pieces. The next one is a 7 inch. The seven inch piece has four clips. The next one down has five. If you have made your own wefts, it's a good idea to already pre-make them in these lengths. So that way you don't have to try to cut them and have them not unravel. Since we're using these, it's okay to cut them. They've already been tightly stitched. And then we have four pieces that are three inches wide. And one. So these four smaller pieces are going to have two clips evenly spaced. Thread. It's something that has a little bit of a stiffer 
stronger kind of a feel to it. Okay, in order to knot your needle, just do a loop around all your ends. And do a couple extra knots with your two pieces. Make sure that it's good and tight. You want your knots coming out. The pieces are only as good as your stitching, so. Now when you sew the clips on, this is really important because I've done it the wrong way before. Um, make sure that you have your combs to the top. You're gonna place it where you want it to go. Make sure this comb part is sticking up and that your rubberized backing is to the side of your web. If you do do them backwards, unfortunately, you have to take them all off and start over again. So it's important to get that right the first time because if you space out, it's gonna cost you. Okay, you're gonna go through that first hole and go through the weft. You're gonna pull it almost all the way through and then you're gonna go back through your thread. You're gonna do that a couple times to make sure that it's in there really good. Now, it's important that you don't stitch all the way on the end of your weft because it will unravel. The other thing that you might wanna do at this point is before you start stitching these, put a drop of nail glue or another type of liquid super glue just right on the two ends so that they don't unravel. You don't need to, but it's, it's another precautionary thing. If you plan on having these for a long time, it's a good idea. Okay. Once you have this stitched in there a few turns, you're going to just put a stitch underneath your clip so that it hides your thread to the back. Don't worry about stitching in any of these holes here. These are just grommets to keep the clip, um, the clip comb to the snap part. So don't worry about those. You're just going to go over to this last hole, go through the hole, and Go through the weft. Again, go back underneath your thread loop and stitch that a few times. 